Uh, the other end of the rainbow, we have the Orlando Magic. I have no idea what's going on, but that's why we bring in uh, Mike Bianchi, the Orlando Sentinel columnist, to tell us we saw this coming. The question is, what exactly is the game plan here? Uh, the game plan is to, uh, uh, Dan, if you want to be the next head coach, GM, if Dwight Howard wants you, you are the guy. The, the plan is to do anything possible to appease Dwight Howard in a last-ditch effort to try to get him to sign a, a long-term contract extension. That's what this is all about. I mean, Alex Martins, the CEO of the Magic yesterday, said Dwight Howard had nothing to do with this decision. Mm. and. This wasn't about Dwight Howard. Well, that's not that's not true. Everybody knows it's all about Dwight Howard. The Magic have to try to keep him to remain viable as a franchise. Well, it, it comes down to semantics. You know, maybe he didn't demand that they were fired or ask that they were fired. But you know, if he wanted to keep them hired, I'm gonna Absolutely. I'm gonna guess he would have been able to keep Stan Van Gundy uh, employed if he wanted to. Absolutely, and the same with Otis Smith, the GM. I mean. Everybody knows the history there that Dwight and Van Gundy haven't gotten along for quite some um, some time and that Dwight reportedly went to management before the season and tried to get Van Gundy fired. I, mean, I, I don't doubt that that happened. I mean, come on, Stan Van Gundy said it happened, and Stan Van Gundy's a pretty honest, blunt guy. I don't think he would lie about that. Why would he lie about Why Why would he lie about his best player trying to get him fired? That, that doesn't help him out any. You've talked about this before, that if you're Dwight Howard, you don't want to be following in the same footsteps as Shaquille O'Neal. Here you are in Orlando, you got your Superman tattoo, and uh, do you end up with the L.A. Lakers? Is there part of Dwight Howard that does want to go to L.A.? And then the other part that doesn't want to follow in Shaq's footsteps? I think there's a – I think, Dwight, if I were doing my best guess now, and this is just a guess gut feeling from talking to people over at the Magic and from people around Dwight Howard, I think Dwight Howard just wants to get out of Orlando right now. There's too much bad blood, too much bad blood with management. Obviously, he doesn't want to be have the blood on his hands for firing a pretty popular coach in Stan Van Gundy. I think he wants a new start if he had his druthers. I think he would like to go to Brooklyn and play in the new arena for Jay-Z's team and get a new start there. But I think Dwight's going to have to open up his uh, his list of teams because uh, the Magic do have some leverage, Dan. Tell me if you agree with this. Dwight Howard has not been relevant in the playoffs you know, knocked out of the first round last year were the Magic. Not, Dwight didn't even play in the playoffs this year. If he goes in the next year with the Magic and the Magic, you know, being a mediocre team, that's three years of Dwight Howard's career that he's not in the show. And, and I just think Dwight Howard, I mean, he obviously has an ego. He's a superstar. He wants to be in the show. I, I, I just think that he needs to open up his list of teams to include the Lakers and the Clippers and maybe the Bulls, and therefore it would be easier for the Magic to trade him. Where's Dwight Howard today? Dwight Howard, what are we? We're at day 33 and counting. He had the, uh, the outpatient, outpatient back procedure a week before the season ended. He had it out in L.A. He hasn't been back since. Okay. <laughs> As the plot thickens? Yeah, I mean, ma Magic fans, Magic management want to know where this guy is. Where's his head at? Uh, Alex Martin, the CEO of the Magic, said yesterday that it's time for Dwight to make a decision. I think the Magic will either have a decision from Dwight Howard or they will trade him by the draft. That's my, that's my thought. But you're looking at Brooklyn – for him, I I always thought uh, that Dallas was going to be in the mix with this, uh, and I don't know if he waits to see what happens with Darren Williams. How much? Perhaps, it, yeah, yeah. Dallas is another possibility, obviously. But what about L.A.? If you were going to say you like Brooklyn, you know, if if they're going to do L.A., then you got to get something in return. Is it? You know what? We just need anything in return, considering we didn't get anything for Shaq. No, I don't think you take anything, but you. Uh, but that you, might be Pau Gasol, though. Is that you know you have well, to have Bynum? Get, no, you, you you would hold out for Bynum. You, you're never going to get full value yeah. for Dwight Howard. But if you could get a Bynum, if you could go to the Clippers and say, "Give us, uh, you know, give us Blake Griffin," and you, you can team up Dwight Howard with Chris Paul and maybe get past 
the second round of the playoffs? Uh, yeah, yeah, you do that if you if you're the Magic. You got to get. If you're the Magic and you just built this new arena and it's been sold out since it was built and then Dwight Howard leaves and you don't have any viable person to sell tickets, then then the franchise is in trouble. And that's the worry down here in Orlando, that the Magic could suddenly turn into the Sacramento Kings. Wow. But here's another problem I see with this, Mike. That you, what? If I'm a GM, I'm not taking that job unless I know how much power I have and what's going to happen with Dwight. If I'm a coach, how much power do I have and what's going to happen? So you have to have something happen with Howard before you can start hiring the, these other people. I, I'm well, how guess. would you like to be the new GM of the Magic? Hey, uh, you're hired, and your first job <laughs> is to trade Dwight Howard and get something really good in return. <laughs> How's that for a first first step in a, in a new position? But are you going to get a marquee coach? A marquee coach? Uh, is Brian Shaw marquee? Is that who you think will be the next coach? I, I do think Brian Shaw will be. If somebody else doesn't get Brian Shaw first, if the Lakers don't fire Mike Brown or the Clippers don't fire Vinny Del, Del Negro and hire Brian Shaw, yeah, I think that's who the Magic will target. He has a history with the organization. He played here for three years in Orlando. He was a very popular player back in the 90s. And he's got the championship bloodlines of coaching under Phil Jackson. So, yeah, I think if the Magic had their druthers, that's who they would choose. Good to visit with you again, Mike. Thanks for uh, uh, joining us. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> All right, Mike Bianchi, uh, morning show host on uh, 740 The Game in Orlando, along with being the columnist for the Orlando Sentinel.